It's Tito Saracin's first public reading, and scores of protesters have turned out to demonstrate outside the event in Potsdam. But those who want to hear him speak are just as numerous. His book, Germany Does Away With Itself, has sold out in bookstores across the country. Saracin's thesis on immigration appeals to a lot of Germans. That kind of talk was considered completely off-limits before. That's why things are bubbling up right now. The book zeroes in on Muslims while also flirting with eugenic theories. Sarazin writes that the number of ethnic Germans is declining while the number of immigrants in Germany is on the rise. It's an equation he believes sounds the death knell for Germany. Sarazin, a left-of-center politician and member of the German Central Bank's board of directors, has divided the country. For some, he's a hero. Others label him a racist. Many of Germany's four million Muslims say he's unjustly targeted them, diminishing their intelligence and alleged failure of integrating into German society. 20% of residents in the Berlin neighborhood of Neukölln are immigrants. Many are angry. The owner of this grocery store is a Turkish businessman. He pays his taxes just like everyone else. I am proud to be working here as a clerk, as a cashier and as an accountant. The tenor of the debate has demoralized Derya Ovalin. The student with a Turkish and German passport passed her high school exam with honors, a model for integration. Her family owns several newspaper stands where Sarazin's picture seems omnipresent right now. I can't stand it that people who haven't done so well in school or have a harder time speaking German are simply marginalized. Sure, our parents raised us. We went to school here. Everyone should take a close look at themselves. Caught off guard, the German government is trying to diffuse the emotional debate. This week, Interior Minister Thomas de Maizière presented a new integration program that aims to hire more teachers of immigrant descent. Politicians also want to boost language courses for immigrants and have threatened sanctions against those who refuse to take part. Berlin has admitted past failings. Political scientist Murat Ham says that could be one positive aspect in the entire affair. I hope we can meet up again next year and say that something has changed, that more teachers are working in problem schools and neighborhoods, and that the states have more money for education. If we can see change on the ground, then we'll have made some progress. It's hard to say when the whole issue will settle down. Meanwhile, Saracin, facing ongoing criticism, decided late Thursday to step down from the German Central Bank.